Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good morning. So, boleh dengar suara saya? Boleh. Boleh, eh? Allah. Okay, so... We have almost time. So, basically, kelas ni ada berapa orang, eh? 14 14 eh? Ya yeah. Okay, shall we start right now? Uh, first of all uh, I would like to Say that uh, have a uh, uh, definitely. Can you turn on your view? At least I can see your your face this morning. Boleh tak? Boleh. Since this is the our first meeting, right? Okay. So before this one, kita tak pernah jumpa kan? Faris Di kat mana Faris? Faris Kamera rosak Kat Melaka cik Melaka, kat rumah eh Haa uh -huh. Okay, Faris sebelum ni daripada mana? Uh, dari, daripada poli ke? Uh, dari poli melimau. Poli melimau. Masih kat Melaka je lah. Di koma dalam mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering. Okay, so ada working experience sebelum ni? Uh, tak ada. Tak ada. Okay, okay, yang lain? Yang lain? Yang lain tak ada? Uh, dalam kelas kita ni ada foreign, ni tak? Uh, foreign student? Tak ada? Uh, tak ada. Tak ada. Okay. Uh, so semalam I, I was noted that we have a first class, right? by Dr. Rosida. Uh, so basically uh, this morning uh, we will have a very brief uh, meeting about uh, our lab activity for the rest of 14 weeks. Uh, I'm not going to into, into detail how uh, the, the implementation of the lab but uh, basically um, I will uh, sort some main activity that uh, will we will go through. Uh, I was informed that uh, for the assessment, we will have uh, the theoretical test, uh, lab test, then uh, we have assignment and as well as project, right? Is it correct? As mentioned by Dr. Rosida. Betul tak Baris? 
for the assessment. Ataupun you still not clear about the assessment. Faris, you can hear me? Apa ni? Saya tanya uh, uh, apa tu assessment. Ada briefing pasal assessment tak? Ada. Ya. Yeah. So Test apa apa yang satu dua assignment. Okay. Ah uh, laboratory test satu dengan project. Okay. Okay, so this our lab activity will support your lab test okay, as well as project. Eh? The rest uh, will come from the uh, lecture information. Eh? So basically our lab activity will have uh, five main activity. So like this morning, uh, I will go through the design to introduction, okay. And the next one is uh, some exercise uh, about how to perform uh, graphic editing, which is a uh, background removal, okay. And then uh, will we do the some uh, activity about logo designing. This is the logo about the packaging for the brand itself. And then uh, we will have a packaging design, which is, I mean, uh, some exercise that you will perform a complete design for the packaging itself. And last one is a uh, packaging testing. So this one is related how we perform a uh, related testing the packaging that we design okay so it depends uh, what kind of packaging uh, material design and the switches that we have on the packaging so the testing will be test according to the, uh, the design okay so this is the, the activity that will be performed along the 14 week but uh, as I mentioned that if not necessary, uh, we will have exactly on every week. But this process, we you have to perform on your own. Okay, so only at certain week, I will uh, I will do some uh, I will do the online session in at least to guide you in order to see uh, any particular exercise that you cannot do on your own so this this is uh, uh, when uh, I, I will uh, give some tutorial about the design okay so about the design tool basically we will have uh, two design uh, graphic design tool, so called that a graphic a graphic designer, and uh, also a photo fee. Pernah dengar tak uh, di software? Pernah guna tak? Tak pernah. Tak pernah. Uh, Adobe Illustrator. Eh, apa pernah guna? Tahu. Tahu. Pernah. Pernah guna. Eh, apa pernah guna? Uh, okay, I not I will not restricted you to use uh, AI. Okay, since uh, actually previously we use AI and also Photoshop in our lab. But uh, I'm thinking that since you cannot access to the lab, and the AI software is not free for student. Okay, faham lah. As long as you can spend on your own to to buy a student version, 
that I when I was not there, there are certain fee for student, right? Ada ada yang install sendiri lah AI. Ada, ada. Nah, tapi I not encourage you to use a a crack version or pirate version. Eh? Kalau you you guna on your own personal, uh, itu dia punya. You have to take your own risk lah. But for the lab activity, I encourage you jangan guna yang pirate version. Okay, pirate ataupun crack version. Untuk submission lah. Untuk submission. Untuk exercise, it's up to you. Okay. So what I suggest is to use uh, gra Gravit to photo, uh, photo P. So this two software, uh, dia punya format, uh, we uh, dia boleh receive uh, the same format that used in AI and Photoshop. So dot PSD eh. So kalau you pernah guna AI, Yes, uh, this software also can be used uh, the same format. Okay. So, siapa yang dah ada AI tu, dekat tadi, you boleh gunakan. Okay. Ataupun siapa yang sanggup pen sama ni to buy the software, it's up to you. Okay. For those yang tak, uh, do not afford to buy that software, So I encourage to use this free version, free version uh, graphic tool, which is Gravit Photopea. Okay. So basically, Gravit is yeah, similar to AI, which is uh, we can use to create a new design using uh, sketching, line editing tool, simple photo editing as well. And photo, photo P is similar to Photoshop. Okay. Kalau yang dah biasa dengan Adobe, it's similar to Photoshop. So, you boleh guna uh, photo P untuk editing, improving and manipulate photo. Okay. So, this is a uh, important software that we can use uh, along the design process. And also for <laughs> our activities, okay. So, we will use these two software. Okay. And also for the lab test. So, lab test. Uh, so, lab test saya harap kamu dapat guna this software lah. So, we can standardize uh, during the test session. And for the project. For the project, uh, it's not restrict, uh, restricted for you to use any kind of software as long as you as long that you can provide the same quality of uh, graphic okay so clear at that level yes okay yeah. okay now uh, i will go to some role of uh, why we we need to design why we need a uh, graphic design in the packaging okay so basically the packaging has served a certain function okay so kenapa kita perlu buat packaging any reason kenapa we we have to do a packaging for a product anyone Tunjuk details produk dekat packaging So customer boleh okay. tahu Okay uh, Branding okay. Branding Kenapa? Product The first of all Apa dia punya main function of packaging? To protect To cover Protect the product Okay kita nak protect the product lagi Attract customer Attract customer. Okay. Ini dah ada kan dalam lecture one kan? So basically stuff, uh, uh, the, the main function is first to protect. Okay. Uh, and the second one. Uh, 
to provide the information okay the information on the product about the product and the third one is to uh, to provide the panggil apa a medium for transportation okay so sometimes we need to choose a right packaging okay in order to transport you have to remember that uh, the product yang kita ada eh, ataupun yang kita produce in uh, manufacturing nowadays are uh, transfer around the world okay for example kita tengok printer ni uh, normally dia dibuat dekat kalau kita tengok ada banyak pada China kan US even though yang yang made di Malaysia so the product itself has to be transferred around the world so the packaging have to serve their function in order to cater to, pro, to protect the product from damage during the transportation so this is uh, the, the main function of the the packaging okay but now i would like to stress about the graphic design the graphic design serve as a saya panggil apa dia punya they have a strong correlation to packaging so kalau you ada packaging without any graphic so some information that uh, kita nak produce ataupun kita nak display uh, on the packaging tu tak sampai eh. and again i would like to stress the function of graphic design is to convey the information ataupun kita panggil uh, apa to communicate lah to communicate between the manufacturer of the product and the customer okay, ataupun the user this is the way we deliver the information eh, the communication way through the graphic design so so graphic design is a communication way to deliver the the message that uh, we're going to deliver to the user. So that's why dekat sini I letakkan okay. So the function ialah untuk provide product information, protect and ini ini function of packaging, okay, to transfer graphic design function dia untuk to give a brand branding for that product as a selling point okay and also to to give the emotional judgement to the consumer okay sometimes uh, the user rely on technical information so contohnya macam case printer ni kita nak beli printer kita guna Uh, technical information lah kita nak tahu dia punya saiz kertas dia boleh muat okey apa tadi dia guna electric ke wireless ke so kita nak technical information but technical information can be pro provided sometimes in term of table macam tu pun kita dah cukup so kita dapat information tu but kalau you tengok sini kenapa dia ada banyak ada macam ada color untuk highlight kan dia okay. ada highlighting ada warna biru dan sebagainya okay. so this kind of uh, graphic it involve the emotional concern of the uh, user or customer okay. it provide the emotional so most of the time if you realize kalau you beli barang kebanyakan you guna technical information ke emotional judgement especially yang perempuan lah kan you guna apa you kira cost ke you kira macam mana pakai cantik beli pakai jenis cantik eh pakai cantik sometimes produk dia sama eh tapi packaging dia different packaging how we package the product also represent the brand okay, the brand so brand ni dia menunjukkan satu uh, 
kita kata apa eh? Brand Dia bukan kualiti Tapi dia menunjukkan Satu Identiti ha, Identiti Identiti Yang menyebabkan Customer believe This identity Ataupun product that use that identity Haa uh, apa, boleh boleh uh, dipercayai ataupun trustworthy that that we can use that product. So, apa contoh-contoh brand yang familiar yang kamu uh, selalu beli? Kalau lelaki kalau pakaian kamu beli jenama apa? Outlet. Brand outlet. Brand outlet. Outlet brand kedai kan Tapi dia dalam dia punya Produk dia, pakaian ni mesti ada satu Brand yang selalu kamu pilih lah kan Patin selalu beli jenama apa? Saya bandel je cik Bandel? Bandel tak ada jenama ke? Ada Ya yeah, juga kan? Oh, memang bandel tapi ada jenama kan? Brand naik Nike kan Nike Kalau yang sport tu memang dia nak Barang-barang yang sport walaupun bandel Tapi tetap nak yang brand Betul Kalau ada bandel Nike Dengan ada satu uh, Produk yang lain tak ada nama Normally Ataupun most of the time You akan decide yang ada brand Betul tak So this is uh, Depend how strong Uh, the brand itself okay. So this is related to Emotional judgment that I mentioned So Untuk bagi uh, Balance between Emotional judgment Rational judgment So kita kena As a technical person lah Especially kita kena uh, Balance lah okay. You kena tengok dia punya technical dan sebagainya But But this is how we use a graphic design to accommodate all these uh, elements in the packaging. Eh? So, kalau kita tengok sini, there's the second example that I provide here, uh, still the HP product. Okay? But now the packaging are reducing the graphic element. Only that we can see that it, uh, in terms of color, they are the black and white the color dia. What if I I tutup brand HP ni? You nak beli tak produk ni? You tutup logo HP ni You nampak workstation je Kan? Beli Beli juga? Tak beli Kalau harga Sebab setelah beli kembali Ya? Yeah? <laughs> Kalau harga murah Lepas tu you tahu dia punya certain tu Okay lah kan? Betul Ha, tapi yang yang nak, I nak tunjukkan sini Ada dua perkataan ni je HP Kan Ada Kalau ada satu kotak dekat sini lagi The brand X Ataupun ABC You still choose HP Sebab dua perkataan ni je So this is the powerful of Branding Even though the graphic Is uh, very minimal Ataupun kita kata Tak ada langsung kat sini eh Grafik Using grafik So It depend How strong the the brand itself So gra- grafik Fungsi dia boleh me- uh, Meningkatkan image branding At- Ataupun bila the brand tu dah terlalu kuat Grafik menjadi Less important Okay So this is the interrelated Ataupun uh, what I going to say that It's not necessary we emphasize the graphic design all the time or the packaging But it's depend on the situation Okay Tak semua produk kita kena buat full graphic okay? Ada setengah produk kita kena highlightkan dia Ada setengah produk Because of the the brand itself is very very powerful Very very strong So kita tak perlu lah nak 
and like banyak grafik sangat. Okay. And again, uh, in term of uh, cost reduction, kalau you guna banyak grafik, banyak cost on the packaging. Okay. So normally ini ini decision uh, by technical person lah, eh. biasa engineer dalam dalam apa tu production. Uh, just to share my experience last time when I working with uh, Panasonic, yeah, Panasonic. Uh, we developing uh, audio system product. Eh. So at certain years, okay, when I started to work with uh, the the company, most of the product are using a graphic. A very colorful uh, graphic design, okay. But when uh, bila sampai dekat satu masa, we eliminate of all the graphic element. We just uh, do like this, okay. Just a simple uh, natural uh, color of the corrugated box, and just a, a simple uh, sticker. So this is. Even though nampak macam simple, tapi we can eliminate lot of uh, packaging cost. Okay, so ni belum kira yang dalam lagi. Just dekat uh, bahagian luar aja, kita boleh eliminate uh, certain packaging cost. So, kalau you can imagine, kalau packaging yang full set macam tadi, kita kata satu kotak kalau boleh dia punya cost sepuluh ringgit. Kalau macam ni lima persen, quite huge amount of uh, saving okay uh, where engineer make a decision okay sama juga macam ni eh so this is example where tak ada brand just information je kalau kita tulis sini printer ataupun toner US user nak beli pun mesti tak agak-agak kan Toner. Semua orang jual toner. So what kind of toner? So this is where we need uh, we need to to use a graphic design to uh, accommodate to the function of the packaging. Okay. So this is another example. Namakan krepek. Semua orang pernah makan krepek kan? Okey, tak mungkin dengan krepek. Johor lagi banyak. Segamat. Ada yang duduk segamat. Khairul Hazim. Ya, yeah, saya. Awak orang segamat ke? Eh, tak ada. Saya oh. orang perak. Orang botol. <laughs> botol. Botol ada krepek. Ada sepak. Ya. Ha? Ada ada krepek. Krepek apa? Cik nak krepek apa? Semua ada. Semua ada. Ha. Kau rasa kampung. Macam Situ jual krepek. Ha. Ada jual krepek ah. Ha. Krepek ubi, krepek pisang, krepek apa lagi cik nak ada? Banyak ah krepek. Saya bagi idea ni nak jual krepek ni. Okay, kalau you tengok dekat sini, the same krepek with the same price but different graphic design. Boleh tengok tak? Design A and design B. Boleh differentiate. Apa beza dia? Variation of krepek. Yang mana? Yang mana? Yang A. Ada banyak pilihan. Yeah. Okay, yang A ada banyak variation of crepe. Yang B? B just crepe. Just crepe. Crepe ubi pedas. Ya. Yeah. Okay. okay, yang lain yang lain lagi? Ini yang yang buat decision macam ni yang suka makan crepe ni. Yang tak ada orang. Pastu. Ha. Lagi? Okay. Yang A tu ada dia punya lapik tu. Kreatif lah. Dia nak bagi tarikan. Ha, dia, dia punya tempat letak. Dia packaging dia lah kan. Ha, packaging. 
Ha, packaging dia yang A. Yang B tak ada packaging. Okey. Lepas tu Lagi? view tu jualan dia. Rabat bagi hmm? banyak daripada view jualan dia bagi banyak. Okey. Okey, kalau you you tengok dua dua jenis kerepek ni. Kalau ni saya ambil dalam Shopee lah kan. Kalau you tengok dua jenis kerepek ni. Macam mana yang kamu tahu kerepek yang mana satu sedap? A ke B? Tengok rating ah. Mana tengok yang star banyak? Tu lah okey. Tengok rating. Okay, kalau as a user lah kan. As a user kita tengok rating ataupun kita punya uh, review lah. Betul tak? Betul. Uh, but as a seller. As a seller. Okay. Uh, kalau, kalau saya sebagai user pun. Yalah memang kita boleh tengok rating sebagai guideline Tapi still we cannot uh, apa tu, taste the product right? Betul ha, Kamu tak boleh makan pun kamu tengok je What if the rating is uh, apa tu cheated rating? Mesti <laughs> kena tipu kan? So this is where the graphic design play a very significant role okay, Kalau kita tengok yang A ni So the way you present the product, okay, ada banyak variation. You tell this is the message that we have from the graphic. First, uh, kita tak boleh cakap ini macam macam kamu uh, like uh, apa tu? Grape agent lah. You nak bagi tahu this is this grape ada banyak rasa. Yang ini dia cakap saya jual grape je. Dia cakap grape ni grape ubi ada Perisa A, perisa B, perisa A ni ada banyak Kan? So this is information that sampai through a graphic design Okay And again So dia ada packaging dia So ini yang menyebabkan uh, customer tengok Oh produk macam Macam ada standard sikit, ada quality sikit Walaupun sometimes Silap-silap company A dengan B ni ialah the same company Manufacturing but different seller Kadang-kadang company boleh datang daripada kilang ataupun Kedai makcik kiah yang sama Tapi seller agent dia lain-lain kan Faham? So again yang A ni dia ada Ada brand eh Mungkin dia letaklah brand dia Sendiri ke Ni dia ada brand Nak Kepek Jadi dia highlight brand dia Tak ada de, Bukan dekat packaging Okay So yang dekat sini Yang saya nak cuba highlightkan Because of the The creativity Of the seller By using a graphic design So the sale Can make about 30,000 Can you imagine? RM10 kali RM30,000 berapa ni? Berapa ribu dah ni? Banyak juga. Dah tak boleh kira dah. <laughs> <laughs> kalau ambil RM10 dah RM300,000 kan? Yeah. Ha, kalau you student, boleh jual kerepek tak? Yang tadi, siapa dia tempat dia botol tadi? Boleh, boleh. Kalau ada rezeki insya Allah boleh je. Ha, RM10, RM30,000. RM300,000. Belum habis Bidu belajar dah ada RM300,000 kan? Haa. Saya berhenti lah. Berhenti lah. Ini, yelah kalau kamu boleh buat sale sebulan, bulan 1K pun, dah ok kan? Bulan ha. 1K. Kalau 1K maksud dia apa? RM10,000 kan? RM1,000. Haa, ah, 1K. 1K sebulan. Eh, nampak eh, dia punya powerful of graphic design uh, Ada yang buat no. Pernah guna graphic design tu buat sale buat sale. Atin, Atin lah Yang kedai, kedai, kedai dekat Shopee ada? <laughs> huh? 
Ada kedai kat Shopee? Ada. Jamie jual cookies. Jamie jual cookies. Cookies. Ha ah. Okey, so I I I nak yang mana yang dah ada buat pernah buat sale tu. Yang pernah buat sale. So lab aktiviti nanti dia cuba bawa dia punya produk sendiri. Boleh. I not Boleh. talking about the project the project and eh? the project nanti uh, Dr. Rosida decide what kind of uh, product that she will go to ataupun you nak buat nanti. So ini untuk lab aktiviti saya nak you you kalau you ada produk sendiri uh, kita, nak, kita nak at the same time you can At least you can make a, 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 a brand image ataupun a good marketing image for your product. So at least eh, at least kamu akhir kelas nanti you ada satu apa tu? good quality apa tu, product image lah. Okay. So setakat ni ada ada soalan tak? Kalau tak ada produk cik. Apa pun juga. Hari je lah. Ini, ini untuk individu saya cakap. Bukan untuk projek eh. Ha. Bukan untuk projek. Untuk your, your, you yourself. Okay, okay. Okay. Kalau yang ada produk tu. Lepas tengah stem kita cuba masuk shopping. <laughs> kita tengok sale dia naik tak? Kita test lah. Kita punya knowledge. Without graphic and with graphic. Tengok Tapi sale dia boleh naik tak? Haa? Oh, persen sikit lah. Ha? Kalau Azim ada kerepek tadi boleh lah kita test. <laughs> Awak pergi borong lah kat makcik kat kampung tu. Buat packaging. Boleh? Boleh. Tapi tu lah. Tak tahu boleh lalu selangor ke tak boleh berak ni. Eh. Awak oh, kat mana? Saya kat Melaka ni. Eh. Kat Melaka. Dekat Melaka je lah. Tak tepat order online boleh kan sekarang. Macam-macam kan. Susian ke lah. <laughs> like, itu, itu just uh, sebuah kata apa idea je. Tapi kita, kita nak, kalau boleh kita nak kita, yang kita buat, kita apply lah. Kalau ada yang berani ambil cabaran untuk masuk Shopee, saya galakkan lah. Kita test kita punya knowledge. Okay. Ada lagi soalan? So, because hari ni saya tak tak plan nak, nak tunjuk uh, apa tu, the full Uh, demonstration about the software. Anyway, dalam Ulearn tu, I dah provide two link untuk tutorial eh, using Gravit and Photofi. Okay. Nanti you boleh godek-godek lah eh. First install dulu, lepas tu you boleh try lah, tengok sikit-sikit. Uh, nanti week ke empat ataupun ke tiga nanti. Baru kita Eh, tengoklah you you sampai level mana you boleh uh, master dia punya software tu. Okay. Ada yang dah buka Ulearn? Dah buka dah. Okay. Ada masalah? Okay. Dah buka tapi dah, dah install belum? Belum. Kena install dulu so, ke Untuk apa tu. This tu software kalau kalau you tak nak install you boleh run direct dalam dia panggil web, web base. So that's mean you boleh guna dalam Chrome tu lah. Maksudnya direct online ni. Eh? Hmm. Uh, kalau you guna data yeah. banyak lah. Kalau data, data tak banyak you kena download lah. Tapi kalau foto P, saya rasa dia dia online version. Dia tak perlu download, tapi itulah data kamu lah. Yang bagi yang dah ada yang dah ada AI, 
you dah familiar it's okay lah so yeah, yeah assume you a bit master lah kan sebab you dah boleh pergi. guna mana-mana software yeah. je boleh 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 cuma untuk lab test je saya minta you familiar dengan this software ni sebab lab test dia tak boleh lah nak open semua sekali so lab test guna software apa je software ni lah Oh, Adik tengah makan ke Adik? Mana? Tengah makan kan? Tanya, tanya Batik Cakap sambil makan Tak apa, makan pun tak apa kat rumah kan? Adik nak makan Adik? Okay. Tengok kerepek lapar pula eh You change Cik kalau selain lab test je lah boleh guna uh, AI dengan Photoshop ha, Boleh untuk submission tu apa tu oh, uh, Project Boleh you boleh Maksud dia sebab the outcome daripada project tu kita nak dia punya grafik je So you boleh guna mana-mana software lah Cuma lab test ni sebab saya pl- uh, plan dia punya session Jadi apa tu saya kata ada certain period lah certain period Jadi 3 hours for 4 hours yang saya open untuk submission So you kena submit according a certain format lah Ada format yang saya berikan lah So tak boleh lah multiple software you guna ada Ambil kepala saya nak semak kan Yang biasa guna AI tu tahu kan dia ada layer-layer kan Ada Ada layer yang pernah Dia ada tahu Yang pernah guna design tu lah dah, dah familiar lah Tapi yang Saya have to be fair untuk yang belum pernah guna lah Sebelum ni you dah ambil subjek industri design kan? Ya yeah. Dah dah pernah guna kan AI kan? Tak pernah Encik Tak pernah guna apa pun saya cari? Sekarang pernah guna Corel Draw Corel uh-huh. Draw Oh sebelum ni guna Corel Draw eh? Betul Corel Draw free? Free uh, Free? Eh tak ada. Tak ada. Tak ada free yang crack ada lah. Crack tu. Crack tu maksud dia saya tak dengar lah kan kamu cakap kan. Kamu guna je lah kan. Sebab saya tak nak ini illegal software yang kamu buat untuk submission. Okay. Kamu buat the rest beyond my knowledge lah. Untuk submission dalam lab activity, kalau boleh saya nak yang Submission Tiga lah Kalau you ada apa tu, student version ataupun trial version You aja nak pergi install lah, it's so up to you pun yang software yang ni saya tengok dia agak agak simple lah graduate graduate agak simple tu sama tapi how strong it, it is saya nampak macam hampir sama dengan AI je graduate tu sama tapi mungkin ada lah function-function yang dia limited eh sebab benda free Okay, ada lagi question? Tak check pun ada soalan Ada soalan Berapa isi dengan format ad? Apa tu? Save format vector ke? Kalau, yeah, it depend lah, kalau, kalau untuk 
any any software yang related to graphic ni you boleh save dalam format jpeg ke png ke dan sebagainya tapi untuk macam lab test kalau you nak submit untuk saya tengok dia punya technicality macam apa tu psd kan macam untuk memastikan dia punya layer dia retail lah okey format vector nanti saya decide lah untuk untuk lab test memang ada ada isu berkenaan dengan format tapi untuk yang lain tu as long we produce the graphic itu je okey saya tak tak concern about the format lah untuk lab test saja nanti saya akan decide format Okay, lagi? Ada lagi question? Ada masalah apa tu? You guna PC ke laptop ke yang ada masalah untuk download software grafik? Laptop. 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 PC. Okay, I assume untuk design student, you dah prepare lah kan dia punya spek untuk install graphic design ni. Boleh upgrade dia punya RAM semua kan. Janganlah lambat sangat. Gerak tak boleh kan. Yang ada masalah, yang ada masalah PC ke laptop yang tak power tu yang nanti you PM personally lah kita tengok apa 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 action yang kita boleh buat lah. Boleh share pun share lah. Ni okay, ada any concern lagi? Tak ada. Okay. Lagi buat setakat. Kalau tak ada Okay. Everything is good. Then don't forget to apa tu seek your attendant eh. Don't forget to seek your attendant today dalam you learn. Okay. Uh, the rest you can uh, try eh. Yang, yang nak try uh, Gravit and Photopea you can try uh, the total to link that I provide. So if th there is no more question, I will end this session. And I will announce uh, when we going to meet later. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack.